Milwaukee Bucks. They're just <laughs> north. We don't know if they're actually real. They didn't show up in the playoffs. They didn't show up in the playoffs. We don't know if they're real. I don't know why I'm channeling my, my Stephen A. Smith, but we're here. <laughs> I think Mewtwo could take on LeBron. <laughs> I, think, I think Mewtwo could take on LeBron J. 6'7", got that tail. <laughs> that could come into play. Psychic I don't know how. Psychic type. He's reading your moves. Reading your moves. <laughs> that was such a good clip. Speaking of reading your moves, we got one of the most solid players at doing that in the entire game and going for just that. Uh, if Loaf had hit that, that would have been one for the real right there. Uh, yep. Yeah, Loaf on the Wario getting off to a hot start uh, up against Comet. It's a Midwest showdown. For those of you that consider Minnesota Midwest, I do personally, but I'm not from the Midwest. So speak it's the Midwest. Yourself. It's Midwest. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. We're, we're still here. We're still. Here. It, it goes <laughs> as far as North Dakota. Did you know that there are people in Colorado that think that Colorado is Midwest? That's very interesting. Because they take it very literally. They're like, yeah, like the middle of the West, right? It's like, <laughs> no. They're technically not wrong. Ooh, no bike available for Loaf, so that's going to be stock. Great recognition by Comet. You almost never see Fox go off stage, yep. but in that situation, knowing that the bike was not available, Comet making a great time to do it. But buenos dias, Mr. McCloud. We are going to even into the second stock. Now, this is something that's going to be a little bit tough for Comet to deal with anyway, because like Loaf is very good on edge guards as it is, and Fox is just such an edge guardable character. So Comet has to be very careful and make sure he gets the most out of his time on stage. Because once he goes off stage, there's a chance he may not ever come back. That's why there has been a big focus on staying at least a little bit closer towards the stage, even on that ledge trapping, right? Not just standing right next to that ledge. You can't risk that reversal, and Loaf will definitely take advantage of that. That, that's that dangerous situation right there. But Comet also a very aggressive player, right? So you'll see that happen every now and then. Yep. Not going to be able to get the stock out of that up smash, but still great looking out. 126, though. I like the empty hop. Looking for the up air, but Loaf is going to land without any a uh, issue, getting that neutral air dodge. And now both of them is kind of changing uh, leads back and forth here, trying to take Ooh. each other down. I love all of wow. that from Loaf. Everything about that down tilt screen. You know what that screamed to me? That screamed fighting games. I felt like I was watching Street Fighter there. The down tilt into the now you're blocking, I go for my throw. Yo, now I go for the down tilt, now I'm going to confirm that into the dash attack. If there was one like Nintendo character to put into a fighting game, I feel like Wario would actually fill a lot of spots. <laughs> like, can you imagine Wario in like Marvel? Dude, that actually, would actually, that would work. He broke out some, look at, look at his aerial movement, man. He'd be sick. Dude, were you watching the auction tournament last night? I, I was able to watch the auctions. I just didn't watch anything else. It was Spider-Man the whole day, dude. Really? I, that <laughs> It was literally because, I mean, that was just like the main. And it was just every, uh, what, what is it that he does when he he shouts the, 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 the swing around? Oh. On the, the yeah, yeah, see you later. Ta, ta, ta. See you later. <laughs> the whole crowd was in it the whole time. Oh, man, so that good. sounds like a good time. But we you know it's not a good time is watching your opponent lift the 200%. The rapid jab. <laughs> Almost did it. <laughs> Fourth throw will kill now, by the way. There is enough rage for that to happen. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that happen because, dude, Fox has a really cool fourth throw. He just dumps you one. Oh, you're dead. You're actually... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, maybe if Loaf matches that, that could be death. I don't know. Fox is light, and that's a lot of rage. Oh, but you really do not want to see Wario live this long. Duh! <laughs> he went so far <laughs> off the one jab. Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. you're gone. That's definitely a little bit rough, but you know what? Both these players have actually been playing phenomenal all weekend. Uh, really got to hit at the Comet. Yesterday, Comet had an incredible set against Ned. If you missed that, definitely go watch it. It was a, it was a battle. Game mm -hmm. five, and there was a little bit of a pop-up at the end. Comet was playing really, really well. Ned was playing really well. I believe Ned's still in the bracket. I'd have to double check. I'd be but, surprised um, if not. I'd be surprised if not, but I've also seen Ned lose and just be like, yeah, whatever. Honestly, <laughs> nothing would surprise me, yeah. if I'm being honest, actually. But, you know, Ned is uh, that Chicago boy. I mean, well, I would like to assume that, you know, he shows up for this tournament, but we'll see, we'll see. And if anything, like, because I know Ned's kind of dialed back how how involved he's been in Smash. I, I feel like he hasn't taken it quite as seriously, at least on the competitive side. But uh, also, it's just like, we're like, what, six, seven years in this game? And people just, people keep getting better. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, starting, you know, uh, ultimate sixth year, right? When we hit December, that'll be six years of the game being oh. up. Crazy, right? Longer than Smash 4 was there, but some people are still out here, man, and Loaf is one of them for sure. Uh, we're going to small battlefield for game number two. Um, man, I'm just thinking about this matchup because Fox really does like disjointed swords. You'd think that that would give a, a 
small hitbox character like Box Trouble. But what he really struggles with is like the Wario's and the Kazuya's that are, uh, you know, able to like stuff him a bit more. Like they're still brawlers, but they're gonna just outrange you a little bit, but yeah. still have that good frame data. Absolutely true. Right now, watching them battle out here. Great song choice, by the way. Kiss is always amazing. Uh huh. It's Tech just, four, it's just a bop. All right, I was like, what's the, what's going to be punished here? Only gets a dash attack, and that's only because like he tripped it far enough away that Mope was able to get a move out. Mm -hmm. Nice empty jump right there. Just slowly drifting in front of Comet Shield, expecting an aerial at some point, but instead, another trip off stage. This is a good follow-up from Comet, though. I love this patience. If there's anything I love about Comet, it's when this box starts playing a little grounded. Yep. Right now, you can see definitely taking his time a bit more here. And you know what? It maybe it's because game one was just a good reminder that you're fighting Loaf, uh, one of the best Warriors in the world, one of the best players in the Midwest. And like, these, these two are familiar. But sometimes, even though you're familiar with an opponent, you kind of have to get a game under your belt to just remember exactly how they play and what you need to be doing differently. Okay, well, right back at it. Even up going into the second stock in this game. I believe that's kind of what we saw in that last one as well. Comet is so good at that just, okay, like, I'm not getting down in the dumps because I lost that first stock. Uh, I'm still in this game. Watch out for B. Okay, right now. All right, gets to the start, but oh my god, your combo is now mine. And Loaf getting a couple up airs. You can hear the crowd was starting to get into it, but then ends up dropping the combo. Maybe got distracted by the crowd. Okay, trying to anti here with these up tilts, but not catching anything from Loaf. Going for a nice little down throw to yes, start up another one of those slow juggles. Man, dude, Comet, you know how you get so accustomed to watching people like Light just oh. throw moves out all the time? Great mix up on that recovery as well. Jeez, that's what I'm getting into. Comet, the mix up game, really defines that play style. But I can't get the sentence out. Loaf just keeps on going. Yeah, I was about to say, this is actually like super unfortunate for, for Loaf, but a great thing for Comet was that that Waft was absolutely wasted. It didn't matter because Loaf got a stock anyway, but that was definitely a huge thing for Comet. What? You okay? That could happen? Out of there. That was like, that was like something like Majima would do with Yakuza. Yeah. Just like Kiryu's on a motorcycle and he just kicks him <laughs> off of it. Yeah! <laughs> It's an up tilt too. It's just so goofy looking. <laughs> nice. That positioning on that downer was the most ambiguous cross up I think I've ever seen in my entire life. That was such great positioning from Comet. <laughs> I like the down tilt into roll behind you. <laughs> <laughs> the Smash 4 classic. <laughs> it, it definitely feels threatening though. Whoa! All right, where <laughs> are we going? <laughs> it's like, it's not like a disconnection. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh, we're back. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what happens here now. Yeah, 50% immediately. Nice early percent combos. And honestly, the Rage does make these mid percent combos uh, a little bit more tricky for Comet. You're probably going to just have to see a bit more like chipping away, throwing out a lot of moves in quick succession to try and catch those defensive options. And now, Loaf is starting to be in danger. Wario is heavy, so we probably don't have confirms available yet. But one more, like an up air, a forward tilt, something on the ground. This. Now we're in those kill percents. Yep. It's just a matter of, you know, especially that 123, you got that extra rage. You get a landing there, it's definitely game over unless you don't know how to confirm. Don't know if those confirms are available anymore either. The rage makes those windows so tight for Fox, but 111 also means that one little read on a jump in, maybe even a reaction, an up smash could definitely take it. But instead, the roll behind dash attack, evasive as ever. And then, honestly, it, is, it, is it a penalty to tackle somebody in football like that? Like just blindside them from the back, or is that just good game? Oh no, play? no, no! That that's blindsiding someone from the back is like really bad. Like just that, that, that you're like probably getting penalties and like a fine afterwards, okay. depending yeah. on how hard you hit them. The Albert Haynesworth. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't even know that much about football, but I know I've seen that enough, and I'm just like, oh, they're getting in trouble. You're in trouble. Now the problem here is like I feel like Comet's playing good, and like obviously Fox is a very good character, but this is also a situation where like Wario does well against other stubby characters that want to get into your face. So, like, it's definitely going to be a tough one for Comet. I don't think he's playing bad. I just think there's some adaptations you need to make. Like, obviously, playing a bit more grounded has definitely been a good factor. Yeah, I like that you bring that up, because, yeah, Wario just does so good against those brawler types, and Loki has really been showing off why. Yeah, you know, these brawler characters, they can cover a, a lot of distance and have really good mix-up games, but they don't tend to cover a lot of space all at once. And that's what Wario struggles with. He struggles against characters that cover a lot of space all at once with lingering hitboxes and all that. But mixed up games 
don't really matter to him because his aerial drift is so insane that he will always have a better mix-up than you. Yep. All right, there we go. It's a grab, down throw, puts it behind off stage. Whoa. And what did the five fingers say to the face? Taking that first stock. 97% now. It is Wario, so it's a four-finger <laughs> four finger discount, if we're being honest. No, he has, he has five, right? I'm pretty sure he has four. No, he has five. Yeah, he's, not, right. a, he's not a Simpsons character. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he had four. You know what? I'm thinking of Two Tooth Tony. Hey, you know, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of it being Two Tooth Tony. That's my bad. <laughs> right, four finger Fred. Well, regardless, five finger Wario. Definitely playing with a solid lead right now. 133 does mean a read can do it. I love the option of the down smash to force the ledge situation. And now many aerials can finish this out for low, but good mix up with that forwarder to get back to ledge. There we go, back throw, putting him off stage here, 140. And now we're trying to see Comet, I'll say, struggle to get the stock here, but does finally get that cleaned up. I mean, it was just like, I was starting to see, like, haunting memories of game one of Wario living the 215. Yeah. This did not feel good. All right. Well, this is the last match to make it into winner's side top eight. Definitely advantage you want to be at. The other three we've already seen, we've already determined them. Right now, it seems like Loaf is going to book that ticket relatively soon, but Comet, again, you're still playing. You're oh! not out of it yet. That was some Rivals 2 stuff. That was like the Rano falling one hit up air into the reset. Yep. Oh, I love that. Yeah, the good. <laughs> two stocks, two slaps. And man, we're two getting right. Two Tony. Yeah, two to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> But Loaf uh, just continues to dominate here. And that's actually something I feel like I'm starting to see a lack of from Comet. Is like Foxes thrive so much out of a parry, right? And I feel like we just haven't seen much of that of Comet. I don't know if it's just like he feels like the timing's off or something. I'm not entirely sure, but he can get a lot more out of this game if he just starts landing those. Uh-oh. I think, I think it comes down to playing a bit more defensively. I was afraid that that was going to lead to a waft, but wouldn't kill yet. You just got to wait a little bit longer, but didn't get the sweet <laughs> spot. So trying to take Fox off the top, not going to work out. Ooh, okay. He can do that? It's Fox, baby. <laughs> that's Fox the Cloud. That's that's one of my favorite bits from Cody. Just he can do that? <laughs> Somebody should make a video about this. Oh, great edge guard by Loaf. It's still not over, and a good stall will save you, but only for a little longer. Chomp, chomp, and into the blast zone. Loaf closing out a solid set, booking that ticket into winner's side top eight, and the crowd is about it. They're all up tilting. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're oh. up airing. Yeah, but now, you know, they they uh, they love Loaf, man. The Midwest loves Loaf. He's a, he's a really chill dude, I get it. I mean, mm -hmm. Comet's a really chill dude, but obviously, you know, uh, we don't root for losers around here. <laughs> Are you trying to be L.I. Joe? <laughs> <laughs>